hi all welcome to my channel data wisdom in our previous video with rollup we have seen how do we use rollup component into ab initio. today we are going to discuss how do we use rollup component into expanded mode and what is the runtime behavior of rollup okay so whenever we are using rollup into expanded mode we'll get some system generated functions which we are going to use and we'll see what are the functionalities behind using those functions and how do those functions operate okay so first you will get temporary type okay so into temporary type you will be declaring declaring your temporary variables okay then after declaration is done for our variable we will have initialize function this initialize function is used to initialize the temporary variables okay we have now we have an optional function called input underscore select here you can filter out your input records If based on a condition you want to select your input records and process it into rollup then you will use your input select function okay then we have rollup function rollup function we write our logic to summarize the data or a group okay so we'll be writing our logic to aggregate our data for a particular group into rollup function okay then we have finalize function what finalize function does is whatever output is generated into your rollup function you will map it to output okay then we have output select function this is also optional once you have generated your output which particular output record do you want to select so if you have to filter out your output records then we'll use this function called output select okay there is another function called key change function right so if we have not declared a key and we are using key change function as our key method in that situation only we will get this function available into rollup component and what it will do we will have to write a condition into this particular function based on that condition either it will return a value as zero or a non-zero value say one okay so whenever output of this expression is zero it will not change the group okay as soon as it has received any non-zero value then it will change the group we'll see this with an example okay and now we'll see if we have some input records and we are processing it using rollup component how many number of time this functions will be called and what would be the runtime behavior of my rollup component okay now suppose i have input records as 1a 1p 2a 2c 3a okay so i have five input records which are divided into three groups basically first group is for id1 second group is for id2 and third group is for id3 now we'll see whenever a record comes into rollup component right which function evaluates first what will be the execution of evaluation of these functions and how many number of time these functions will be called okay so temporary type will always be called only once once we are done with declaring our variables we don't need to declare it multiple times so temporary type will be called only once into our rollup function 
then say initialize function this initialize function will be called per group right because we want to aggregate or summarize our records for every group and if we are declaring some variable and doing some calculation over that variable for each group it needs to be reinitialized right so that you can get your correct results so temporary type only once into rollup component initialized initialize function it will be called for every group okay then we have input select basic functionality of input select is to filter your input data right based on a condition so it has to run on all the input records it will check that particular condition for that input record if it is matching it will pass record ahead otherwise it will reject that particular record so it will be called for every record okay roll up function roll up function again will be called for every record into a group right and that is how you will calculate its aggregate summary so now suppose if i have to append the name for this id what i'll write id is one right and if i'm writing a string concatenate to concatenate these two values it will have to take all the values for this particular group and it will return me a concatenated result right so roll up again will be called for every record into your input then we have finalize function finalize function will be called once per group and this will be called after roll up is completed so suppose for this group if roll up is completed then for finalize function will be called okay so it will it will be called per group after execution is completed of roll up function then we have output select output select again will be called once per group right because roll up is generating your finalize function once per group finalize function is generating output for me and now from that output i have to select a particular record based on the condition which is written into my output select function okay then we have key change function this will only be available if my key method is not set to use key specifier and it is set to use key change function key change function always take previous and current value okay and what it does it using this previous and current value okay you can write a condition using either previous or current record which will be taken into key change function and if that key change function is evaluating to zero it will not change to change the group if it is any non zero value it will change the group and it will again call the initialize and roll up function right what would be the execution sequence of this function temporary type it is anyways is being called only once so first initialize will be called which will be initializing your value per group input select it is executing for every record so input select will be called first so we'll see what will be the execution order of this sequence okay input select will be called it will check if any temporary type is defined it will initialize the value for every group then roll up function will be called once execution of roll up function is completed for a single group then your finalize function will be called once finalize is completed your output select function will be called okay now we have seen using the key method right using our key specifier how do we use our rollup component today we'll see how do we use this key change function and evaluate our group to find out some aggregate or summarized result for a particular group so for that we'll take an example okay so we have an input file wherein i have two column okay first column is balls second column is run so what we can see we have 12 number of balls which have been bowled 
and these are the number of runs scored on every ball right into my output file i want number of overs bowled and how many number of runs have been scored into that particular over right here we do not have any definite key column right i do not have a column based on which i can group my input record and summarize the output right so in this case we'll have to use key change function okay so we'll see how do we use that key change function so first we'll pull this sort and roll up component into our graph because we'll sort our data before providing it to roll up component and i'll sort my data based on ball so that i can calculate my overs perfectly okay i'll order is ascending now we'll see how do we use key change function okay sorted input we have set to, to input must be sorted since we are sorting our data key method i am not using any key specifier i will use key change function as soon as i click on key change function this key parameter will be removed from parameter list okay since we'll be having a function called key change function into our transform into roll up component okay so let's open this transform and it will ask whether you want system to generate default transform we'll say yes okay so see we have temporary type over here we have input select we have initialize roll up finalize and output select and key change function right so here we'll see how do we have to write logic for implementing our scenario so i'll remove this input select and output select right because i do not want to filter my input or output okay now first we'll write the logic for changing our group okay at what condition should i change my group so how do we write it we'll write out colon colon right i'll take this into to take the recent ball okay and what i want to check if ball modulo 6 equal to equal to 1 this is my condition so what i am saying i am dividing the ball incoming ball by 6 and i am checking if remainder is 1 then my group should be changed if remainder is 0 my group shouldn't be changed and i'll keep looping input records into roll up come function to calculate the sum okay so what variables do we need we need one variable to store temporary sum right so that i can change the value of this sum by adding the incoming run okay so i am declaring a variable v underscore sum okay i am declaring a variable into temporary type name of the variable is v underscore sum and type of that variable is decimal okay now into initialize what do we do for every group i'll have to start my temporary sum from zero because until one ball is bold into that particular over my Num sum of runs should be zero for that particular over right as soon as the ball has been bowled and until my group is changed what i'll have to do i'll have to add the incoming run into this temporary variable okay so what we'll do we'll keep adding this variable with number of incoming run okay so for every group until and unless the group is finished this roll up function will be called and it will keep on adding the runs for that particular group right and into finalize function as i told you we write our mapping to map it to output columns so what would be my run run would be my runs i'll assign it to temp dot v sum 
because I am calculating the sum of runs into this particular variable right key change function we have seen when to change the group how to calculate the total of runs per over that we have seen but now we have to calculate the number of overs as well right number of overs will change as soon as my group has been changed or as soon as six balls have been changed i cannot calculate the number of overs into roll up because it will be called six time if i consider six records in a group and i'll have to only call or only increment the number of overs when my group has been finished that means i'll have to calculate number of overs into finalize function for calculating number of overs again we'll need a variable so that variable i'll declare globally okay because i do not want to change value of that variable into roll up function and that this variable should be available globally into my roll up component so i am declaring a decimal type of variable say v underscore overs and i am assigning default value as well over here only right now into finalize function what do i have to do i have to increment the value of overs once the group is finished and i'll keep on incrementing by one right and now i'll assign it to my output column say my output column name is over will be assigned to v underscore overs okay so logically we have written our code we'll validate it if our syntax is correct it's correct and let's run our graph okay so we'll see does it provide me correct output or not meanwhile the graph runs i'll open my input file okay. graph execution is finished we have two output record let's view the output data as well okay so it has calculated number of overs and total number of runs so this is my first over how many number of runs are scored 6 plus 1 7 plus 1 8 plus 4 12 so it is giving me 12 runs have been scored in first over in second over 8 runs have been scored okay so whenever you do not have a definite key column which you can keep as a key into your rollup component as a key specifier then you will use key change function you will write some condition into your key change function based on that it will evaluate when to change the group okay and based on the runtime behavior of rollup component every function will be called which we have discussed into our video and based on that it will generate output for you okay so this was rollup component into expanded mode by using key change function thank you for spending time and watching this video kindly subscribe to my channel data wisdom for more such videos on ab initio and other data engineering tools thank you